Keith Cartz has already faced the toughest competition of his life. Cancer and beat it. Keith Cartz. Savage. Stud. Warrior. Legend at San Diego High School. Even when I walked onto campus, Keith Cartz. What's up, brother? Yeah. <laughs> you paved the way, dog. Um, you set the bar. And I tried to take it to another level, homie. Uh, Dan Quinn. Fat Keith. I discovered that stevia cures cancer, dog. Straight up. Put lots of stevia into water. Make it really sweet. And you're going to be lean and ripped in magical speed, dog. Straight up. So, are you financially sound, Keith, after your NFL career? Is everything honky-dory? I'm hearing it's not for a lot of guys in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? And, fact, not fiction, brother. Put stevia into water. You're going to see a safe explosion. Water's going to pop. It's going to triple in size. Wow. Meets the definition for natural gas. Stop blending. You're going to see it cycle back into water, Keith Carts. There's going to be a layer of soap floating on top. The soap is what gave you cancer. And stevia, <laughs> stevia alone will get that out. But getting it out before you drink it, all right? Bottling up a liquid that acts like the fountain of youth, Keith Carts, that will retire you, yes, and your entire family, even though I kind of wouldn't mind kicking Mike Carts to the curb, homie. Straight up, your brother, Keith Carts, is an integral player in the bad boy, okay? Fact, not fiction. Senior year, Thursday night, before we play Lincoln, San Diego, before the infamous play where I missed two tackles on Steve Taylor because he can't outrun me because I'm faster than he is. Um, Yeah, your brother and I got into an argument, Keith Carts, over who was going to start at cornerback. See, your brother was going to play a guy who had just moved in and was kissing his ass. And <laughs> my friend was better. And I was the captain of the defense. And we had words. And... We broke it off, and I went into the locker room, and I took a shower, and your brother wanted to continue the argument, all right? Kind of like Frank Stams. And so what I did, Keith, is I poked your brother in the chest, and I said, you know what, fucktard? I said, you don't phase me, and neither does your brother. I'll kick both of your asses. I said, this is my fucking defense. I'm the captain. It's my product on the fucking field, and my friend is better than the guy that's probably sucking your cock. And I said, you know what? You're a fucking assistant coach, dude. Okay, not you. But I said, you'll be fucking gone next year, tomorrow, what? Who cares? I said, me? I'm going anywhere I want to, homeboy. I don't know where you went, Keith Carts, but I went to USC, Michigan, Ohio State, and Notre Dame. Oh, and there's a sentence down here. It says, but as Carts found out, the competition in the Pac-10 can be a bit overwhelming. I came in here thinking I was a pretty tough guy and all, but I got straightened out pretty quick. You know what? That kid went into Notre Dame thinking he was the toughest, and I kicked the dog shit out of every fucking thing in my path. Keith Carts, fact, not fiction. Mike Perino told Joe Womack that I was a freak of nature, that I was the most, I mean, no one ever seen anything like me. That it was like I was straight the fuck up out of the ghetto. Like I was a black boy trapped in white skin. Straight up, dog. Uh, fact, Keith Carts. I could have covered... Mar well, is Marshawn Lynch faster than Alan Pinkett? Because I could cover Alan Pinkett man-to-man -man, because I was faster than he was. And you know what, Keith? Fact, not fiction, dog. When I am on enough THC to... Put a fucking elephant sideways. Put a human to sleep for like three or four days. But counterbalanced with the stimulant effect of stevia. Brother puts me into another fucking realm. YouTube Dan Quinn versus Bon Lapua. If 255 pounds of Samoan can't tear my head off. And then I come back and break his collarbone by hitting him in the head. Um, stevia works dog. So fact. 
Everybody that you know in San Diego, Keith Carts, has snorted cocaine. Everybody. And fact, Stevia, even at Trader Joe's, brother, kicks the shit out of cocaine. It really does. I mean, what's the best coke? Maybe like 35, 40 minutes and then you got to do it again. Very expensive, illegal, sends many people to jail, prison. Stevia, Trader Joe's, 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Yeah, that kicks coke's ass, I would say. And then the jaw jaw, oh, it's pure, from Emperor's Herbologist, brother. One line, you get a power surge for 1.5 hours. And what I'm saying, Keith Carts, is that that kid, well, how do you look now compared to how you did, Keith Carts? Because drinking stevia sweet water all day long is going to bring your body back. Basically, a facsimile of when you were your studly fucking self, man. I mean, you were a legend at San Diego, Keith Carts. And from what I hear, Keith Carts, so was I, dog. Okay, let's get back to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get back to the bad boy, man. Because after I've quit football and started to box on at Yogi's, and I see some of the coaches, I see Fritz Mulefaller, Coach M, you were a great, oh, he's gone, great guy, everybody loved him, good coach, um, it's a tragedy that John Cannon didn't take his place, uh, Coach Bell, I don't think he was there, good guy, liked him, uh, I liked everybody, basically, except Coach Cannon and your brother, anyways, yeah, I said something that made John Cannon's face turn beet red. And then I started out, and I saw your brother, and I thought, eh, I'll fill this fucking lame of bone, too. And I'm like, what's up, Mike? And he goes, Psh. And I went, Err. And in front of everybody, I said, did you just, Psh. I said, remember back in high school, homeboy, when I was poking you in the chest and saying that I would kick your fucking ass, and I would kick your brother's ass, too? Remember? Okay, well, that was high school, dog. Okay, now, you ever disrespect me again? I said, I will fucking kick the shit out of you. Well, you know what? Ask them what I said because this is where it starts, Key Carps. We go down to Juanita's and four friends standing at the counter ordering dwindles down to me waiting for my food. My three friends right behind me, <laughs> oblivious to everything. And boom, I get bumped, dog. Okay. And I look right, look left. Four guys, Keith Carts. You probably know every one of them. There to reclaim your brother's penis. That my words flew out and chopped the fuck off. Yeah, they wanted to turn him back into a man after I turned him into a eunuch. And... <whistles> dun, 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 dun. Bam! Elbow. Okay? Yeah, the guy right behind me dropped. I think his jaw was broken. You would probably know. Uh, he was a sack of shit done. They had to drag him out. And three guys that were snarling, you know, just seconds before are now fucking like, <gasps> you know, yeah, boom, 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 done. All right? Lightning, thunder, homeboy. When I'm pissed, oh, I'm fucking uh, unstoppable. Anyhow, Keith Carts, number five wasn't you. Some guy from New York comes in. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Dude, none, none of your business. Well, I'm making it my business. Oh, really? Well, step the fuck in then, okay? And, uh, you know, help a legend fucking uh, reinvent himself, man. You know what I'm saying? So, with that said, Keith Carts, they could make a movie, Twins, dog. You and your brother. You're Arnold and <laughs> your brother, Danny, either becomes a coach where most monsters go and then a few actually slip into the police, okay? That are populated mostly by good guys, okay? But I have found out, Keith, that uh, exercising your constitutional rights to free speech doesn't really fly, okay? And Stevia doesn't work? Yes. Dan Quinn has been chubby before. I'm eating like a pig, and I am leaner than I am than Keith Carts and on massive amounts of THC and massive amounts of stevia. I told women that I'm fast enough to cover speedy black millionaires in the NFL man to man and we went out and boom I hit it and they were excited dog. They were like fuck. 
They never seen anything quite so fast white before. And everybody talking shit, that is Jennifer. And Jennifer, do not get mad for one second, girl, because when I'm rich, I'm going to retire you. And I bet that your new boyfriend is a cool motherfucker. He's a wood, all right? And guaranteed, girl, that if we were locked up in a pen and he didn't like me or something and whatever, his homeboys would say, you know what? Don't even think about trying that. <laughs> Don't even think about trying that on by yourself homeboy okay think again that yeah you know, i mean stand the fuck down son you know what it's like this it's not my fault like this punk that just calls up he's probably gonna call again and it's not my fault that he got i mean a, a muck hand you know i mean like if life was poker all right not my fault that most guys football wise keith carts didn't get the hands that we got dealt dog Okay, um, and I'm asking Keith, really, in your experience, did you ever have any linebackers, okay, that were so fucking fast that they could, let's see, catch black guys from behind in the open field when they're gone for touchdowns like I did versus Alexander Hamilton my sophomore year at San Diego or like Steve Taylor, dog, straight up, quarterback sneak, you know, all that speed on the field is panicked, and when they show pass, Backs are turned. They're fucking running to get where the fuck they're never going to get because that quarterback sneak is already passed to a touchdown. You know, speedy. Feel me? Blitz, dog. Perfect call. Oh, yeah. It was epic. Um, and I read right, man. And the collision, what? Steve got knocked back three yards and he didn't fall down. And when that speedy brother hit the sideline and turned it up, I was there, dog, like a fucking cruise missile. Oh, I was pissed. Okay. Uh, I thought I was going to knock him out, dog. Straight up. I could have wrapped up. I, I I figured he was going to be planted. And uh, so I was like a cruise missile. Yeah, and you know what John Cannon told me? John Cannon told me, watching films, basically that I was borderline piece of shit, Keith Carts, and that maybe I should think about offensive tackle. Wow. You know what, Keith Carts? If you know John Cannon... Tell him to get his fat fucking ass on Stevia ASAP, dog. Straight up. Uh, fact. If John Cannon does not do something to help Dan Quinn's miracle, you know what, John Cannon? It's like this. Uh, she could validate the violin works, gentlemen. That guy right there has upgraded the Kama Sutra for female sexual pleasure. Keith Carts. Fact, not fiction. Pretend the G-spot is the yin and the yang and press on both dots, connect the dots, massage, and then stimulate the clitoris. And her pelvis will literally come off the bed and attack your face for as long as you play it. No longer is it her mind determining when she comes. Your fingers, you can, uh, a, a concerto, uh, yeah, you can become a master violinist and take women to triple digits, dog. Straight up, fact, not fiction. So, throw that in with the stevia kicking the shit out of cocaine angle, all right? And that kid right there will be the most famous alumnus of San Diego of all time, homie. Straight up. He's going to win a Nobel Prize, whether he's alive or dead. You know, the stevia curing thing. Straight up, Keith. Fact, not fiction. Please. As quick as you can, out of respect, man. I mean, you and I probably would have been friends if we were on the same team. We might have gotten into a fight, whatever, okay? We can theorize about what the fuck would have happened based on past events. And then we would have fucking been on the same side and been as savage as we could. Fucking, I love football, dog. It was a fight every play. Just like Jonathan Vilma, I tried to hurt who I hit Legally, every fucking time, dog, okay? I took every aggression that I had, and I went through six fucking face masks my final year at Notre Dame. And after everything that I did, that little monster, Lou Holt, oh, Dan, you just don't have the ability to play here at Notre Dame. And I'll tell you what, dog, 
we had a 35 minute meeting and they could make a movie about what I said to that fucking punk.